you, Sean. Welcome. Mike Kay from the Charlotte Observer. How's nice going? to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what, a, what about the work with Evero last year kind of made you want to come here? Um, I could say, really, he just um, he was a stand-up guy. You know, um, in this league, you know, you got a lot of coaches that move to different places, and he stuck to his word. Um, it was the last game of the season. He told me, he was like, I, I love – what you did for me this year, and he told me he would bring me wherever he went. And you know, as a player, you know, you hear it, you know, because throughout my path, other way, you know, I've been cut ten times. So you know, I didn't hear a lot of coaches say, "Yeah, we love you, we'll take you here and that." But for him to be a man of his word and bring me here and back home is is amazing. So I can't, I can, every day I thank him enough. Him and Dom, I can't thank him enough for bringing me here with him and giving me another chance to play. You good. Can you talk more about being at home and returning back to, you know, Carolina? No, it's, man, every day, man, it's it's a blessing. Um, just to how far I have came along this journey, and I'm just a testament of hard work and dedication and never not telling somebody what you can and cannot do. And my life coming full circle around and coming back home and playing for the home team, man, it's the joy that I have, man, just to be able to, use my phone for that key card coming through those gates, man, it's just, it's amazing. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. How's your family react? Oh, they, <laughs> they was happy. They was happy. Um, the whole city of Clemson slash Central was, was amazing. But um, I told me I ain't going to be home as much. I got to focus on what I need to focus on. But no, nah, it's, it's amazing to be here. Well, what have been your impressions of what they're going to do with this 3-4 so far? It's the same. Uh, defense that I ran, so I know the ins and outs of this <laughs> this defense, but the, the the players that we have and the vision that he has for this team is, is scary. Um, but obviously we have to put in the work, you know, each and every day, and that's why we're doing this mini camp uh, to, to lay the foundation and the groundwork each and every day. And, you know, right now it's not going to be perfect, but we taking, you know, 1% better. That's what Frank says every day, 1% better, and we're getting better right now. and. You know, the players that we have, man, it's, I love it. It's, it's amazing. I'm glad I'm here. What's fun about playing in this scheme versus a 4-3? I, I really don't know. All I, all I can say, my personal reasons is I balled out last year. In it. <laughs> so that's why I'm, I'm happy um, to be in it. And I know for me to have success in it, I know Derek Brown's going to have success. Shy's going to have success. Henry's going to have success. McCall's going to have success. Um, Brian's gonna have success. Hayes, uh, Etor, like everybody, man. Like it, this, this system, man. If you buy in, do what we got to do, and play for any, for one another, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great, uh, great season. Appreciate it. Uh, Todd Wash is new to you, though. Mm -hmm. What what stood out to you about him since you've been here? Um, I knew of Todd um, because I had uh, friends and uh, other close friends that uh, played with him. You know, in Jacksonville, and um, I had. Uh, Michael Barker's in Detroit. Um, I hit him up and asked him how was he, and everybody shot it to me straight. You know, he's a he's gonna tell you like how it is, but we're gonna have fun. And all our defensive line meetings are are funny, you know. But um, he gets on you when you need to, and as a player, you know, you never get comfortable around him. You know, it's it's one of those college fields. You know, you got to bring it every day because you never know somebody could take your spot, and he'll let you know like if you're not gonna bring it, I could bring somebody else. So that keeps you on your toes, and once you be a better person, not just for yourself, but for this team. Given your history in the league, though, you're always kind of on your toes, right? Yeah. I'd imagine. Um, how do you not become content? Like, how, how does that, how do you avoid that mindset now that you, you have signed this contract, that you are with the guy that, that you've shined with? How do you, how do you do that mentally? I think that's just me. You know, um, I never had it easy. You know, even since high school, you know, people telling me I wasn't tall enough, I wasn't quick enough. But, I'm big on proving myself right. You know, um, Frank, uh, he'll tell you when I was in Indianapolis with him for a short period of time, uh, didn't nobody tell me I couldn't play in this league. So I know what I'm, I know what God gave me the ability to play. You know, I'm not the tallest, I'm not the biggest, but what you get out of me is somebody that has leverage, quickness, is going to give effort and do my part. So um, me, I'm big on me. You know what I mean? You don't you don't have to like me. I don't have to fit your prototype defensive tackle to be six three, six four, whatever the case may be. I know what I can do. And, you know, I'm gonna show it in practice and show it on games. There's gonna be a lot of guys that are like that in this yeah. draft that are gonna be treated that way. What what advice would you give them as they kinda go into this journey? Um I can't really speak for them because I was undrafted. 
<laughs> yeah. Guys who could potentially go undrafted. Yeah. What, what what type of mindset should they have? Um, man, just weather the storm. You know, everybody's success is different. You know, um, you might get right away success. You might go to a team that shows you love. And in my case, hell, I got cut ten times till I found the right spot. So you know that made, but that made me to who I am. You know, a guy that never takes nothing for granted. A guy that every each and every day, even it comes to the weight room, the meeting rooms, how I eat, how I sleep. I'm always on my toes just because cause I know what that feeling is like being cut and on the outside looking in, like when I'm going to get that call. So I never want to feel like that again. So that's why I tell somebody like that, just just do it. Like once you're in, you're in. But it's also easy to get out. So, you know, if you can read between those lines, just do what you got to do at the end of the day. Deshaun Jack Taylor, WCCB Charlotte. Uh, welcome to Charlotte, first Thank off. Thank you. Uh, we've, in the last few years since he's came to the team, they've been trying to find a compliment for Derek Brown, you know, go on that other side. You talk about, you know, being there for yourself, you know, know what you bring. How do you think you can be that compliment for him? Um, Me, myself, um, we haven't found that out yet. You know, what we're going to do right now is just learning how everybody plays, you know, learning his A move, B move, how he liked to play in the run, things like that. So really, man, it just, you know, if – I can't really say because it's too early like, to see to say who's the starter. Hell, look at our room. We got so many competitive guys, so we don't have a day one starter besides DB. You know what I mean? So, but um, it's fun. I can say like it's it's a competitive. You know, everybody's like people don't want to say it, but <laughs> everybody wants to start, right? But I looked at it like this: the last two years I was with Denver. Sometimes being a the starter, they look at you when you're not one that you are. You can be dependable. You know, they can rely on you to get, do things. So if I'm the starter, cool. If not, I'm going to give everything I got. So it really don't matter to me. You mentioned how you already had experience knowing the system, the 3-4 specifically with Coach E. I wanted to ask, what does a teaching role or I guess a leadership role look like for you, you know, kind of helping with the transition with the guys that aren't familiar? Mm -hmm. um, what does that look like? Um, just if they have questions, you know, um, now it's kind of weird me being in kind of the oldest guy in the room, uh, me and Henry. So, you know, if guys have questions, you know, um, I kind of feel like an extra coach <laughs> on the field. You know, um, guys asking me, what do I need to do on this defense? But me alone, you know, having the knowledge in, of of this defense, but Coach Wash knows this defense as well. So he ran it uh, when he was with Jacksonville. And, and the defense that he had, you know, it speaks for itself. And, you know, just hearing his uh, wisdom and his guidance that he had because he didn't coach from greats. So I'm trying to get to where, you know, his players were. So really just – buying into the process. You called it scary. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Scary is just everybody buying in. Um, you know, that diamond, you know, it got to go through some things. You know, you got to you gotta get it. You got to shine it. You got to make it, shape it up how you want to be. You know, a lot of people, you know, we, we are the hot topic right now in the league, you know, with the number one pick and things like that. But we got to work. You, you're not going to be anywhere without just people saying a lot of things. I don't want to throw a team on the bus, but hell, they was good on paper last year in Arizona. And look what happened. So, nah, we're not going to be that. You know, we're going to put the work in. And then that work will match the guys that we have. And then hopefully at the end of the end of the year, we'll be where we need to be because we can win right now. What's Dom bring to this group? And has he talked much about being here the first time around? Oh, Dom is – he helped us out last year. Oh, my goodness. It was – he simplified the game so much, and having him out, it's like an extra cheat code. Him and Coach Caldwell, it's a, it's a cheat code. So um, I say to players, just ask, because he has so much knowledge. But having him is like a security blanket for E. It's, it's amazing. Did he talk about much? I mean, you know, he was the first coach here in 95 mm -hmm. and got some pretty good defenses those first three years. Yeah. Has he talked to you guys about that? Or? Dom, Dom is a guy that he won't talk to you unless you ask. <laughs> so. If you want to get that wisdom and get that guidance, go talk to him. His door is always open, so he'll tell you. Yep. All right, cool. Appreciate y'all. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.